I, I, I legitimately didn't did not think about the impact. Also, didn't really care. I think that's mm. that was part of the 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 Tokyo problem and the the, the Japan problem. Right, that's uh, what we call it. Not suicide <laughs> woods. <laughs> Tokyo. Pr- no, but that's what it is. I mean, we can call it whatever. Mm. That, that yeah, that's what it is. What it, happened there? That was um, significant in my life for many reasons, but mainly because it took it it took that for me to realize that what what I was doing was so fucking wrong. In that social media was creating a person that it was just not me i was my only motivator was views mm-hmm. i wanted views because views equated to money views equated to subscribers which equated to success and i started to skew the person that that was logan paul like like that kid that was on vine logan was now becoming this influencer who all he cared about was making the most noise that he could and so the bigger, the louder, the faster, the better. And um, there was no forethought or foresight that went into the content we were creating. Yeah, it can be very seductive. <clears throat> and I still have to be quite observant of the impact of fame and money. Mm. These are sort of powerful corruptors for people that have worked in entertainment ever since there's been an entertainment industry to get other people's approval, to see your success mm. escalate in. And also in my own experience to feel that there's a kind of disjunct between that external phenomena and how I feel mm. inside. Mm. I think any of us that lose our inner connection in favor of something that's happening externally, even if that's something blunt and basic like drug addiction or something more abstract like fame and success, mm. you can start to, what you said is lose connection with your essence a little bit. Like Absolutely. With your Ab- little child, pure self, yeah. as it were. Absolutely. Well, it's like, um, for me specifically, and I, and I would, I would caution anyone listening to this or watching this, depending on what medium you're on, to... Smelling it. If you're smelling this podcast or tasting it, uh, it just I got in a cycle where my actions every day were reinforced by views. It was I knew that the crazy, the the crazier, more inappropriate things I did would get views, and so in my mind, this was a good thing, and mm-hmm. um, I started chasing that, and I got sucked into the cycle. Like, wh- what person? Everything I did was supported by an audience, and in my mind, that meant success. When reality, just, that's not that's not the case. Well, also though, you can take recourse to much more traditional media. If you think of like television or film or music, we know that sort of content that has a negative impact or content that's morally dubious can be continually created. Mm. If, like you know, according to your paradigm, it equates to success, views, money, and that's you know that's work that's done collaboratively with executives that have worked there for twenty years, not kids making it up on the hop uh, yeah. with only their your own instincts about what's right and wrong to guide you 